Hi everyone, it's Jojo and welcome to my 7th Vintage Haul video. Like always, I would go through each piece with you, let you know how much I paid for it, and a little bit of information that I have on the item if I haven't. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is these um, Siesta Wear mugs. I paid $2.99 for them and they were in a basket all wrapped up in plastic wrap. I've been wanting these. I have another set um, of pastel ones and I love them, but they're a little bit smaller. So these will be bigger so I can put uh, a little bit of cream in the coffee. The thing that I did not realize, which happens, like I've said multiple times with the plastic wrap is, see the blue one right here? It has a chip on it. And that light pink one has a chip on the rim. It is on the outer side, so if you were drinking from this side, you know, but you just have to be well aware of it. So, you know, for $2.99, what can you do? I just, I don't like it when that happens. It's a little aggravating, but I am happy that I found them in for such a good price. Okay, the next thing I found was this cocktail shaker, and this is by far my favorite find of everything I found. Um, I paid, again, $2.99 for it. And it was actually, well, actually, $2.99 was what it was marked, but it was half off that day, so I only paid $1.50 for it. But this is, it's awesome. It does have a signature on it, and it says, let's see if I can find it right there. There it is, Pesensky. I kind of looked on the internet. I haven't found another one like it. And it is tall. It is very tall. It, I measured it. It's about 10 inches. Oh, I love it. Um, the next thing I found was these depression glass nesting bowls. Um, I paid $1.99 for them. And they were wrapped in plastic wrap too. But since they were clear, I was able to see most of them. And I did unwrap this one actually before I left the store just to make sure there was no chips. And they were in really good condition. All right. The next thing I found was... Uh, this Mr. Boston uh, official bartender's guide. I paid 50 cents for it. I have another one. This one is the 51st printing, 1971. I have an older one. Uh, when we divided up my mother-in-law's estate, my brother-in-law and I both loved the book and I ended up getting it. So I was happy to find another one. So I will be giving that one to him. So he has his own copy. All right, the next thing I found was a teapot. This one, I believe, is by Lufton. The mark on the bottom of it um, says E4772, and that um, looks like a Lufton one. But this is I'm actually going to make. I paid $5 for it. Um, I'm actually going to make that my regular teapot. It's nice and clean. Um, looks like it's barely been used, if used at all. So I was excited about that. The next piece I found is this covered uh, casserole dish. I paid, let's see, $1.99 for it. Um, very clean, no chips, no cracks. And it is made by Hall Superior Quality. Oops. I think it's from the 1940s. I'm not quite sure, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that. Then I found this mid-century uh, pot casserole. I paid $2, $2 for it. Uh, the problem is, I didn't notice, it does have a chip on it, and one of the handles has actually been repaired on it. This handle's been repaired. But it was cute, I thought. All right, these salt and pepper shakers, there's some really cool ones here. Um, when I walked into the Goodwill, the lady, um, that I see there, she said, oh, you collect uh, vintage kitchen stuff, don't you? I said, yeah, and she said, somebody donated a bunch of salt and pepper shakers. So I went over there and looked at them, and these are the ones I found. I found these two wooden guys. I paid $2 a, a piece for each set. Um, wooden salt and pepper shakers, a man and a woman. This is a little chef, and he actually comes apart. There he is for your salt and pepper. I thought he, whoops, I thought he was cute. Over there. Okay, I found these carrots. I love their faces. I found this lady here. I couldn't resist. She was hilarious. It says, Souvenirs, Hills of Old Kentucky. And as you see, 
That's where her salt and pepper shakers are. <laughs> I just, I just loved it. It was very kitschy for sure. Let's see. Next, I found the scarf. The scarf is 1990, it said, but it had birds on it. It's a long scarf. Let's see if I can undo it. It's a long scarf. But I love anything with birds on it. I, I tend to pick up a lot of things that have birds. So I thought it was pretty. I'll wear that for sure. Um, I paid $1.29 for the scarf. This little comb I paid $0.10 cents for, still in this package. It says Unbreakable Jeweled Comb by Goody. And I thought that was really cute. I'm trying to set up like a, a vintage vanity um, in my bedroom. And I thought this would go really cute with it. Okay, then I found some jewelry pieces. This one is a heavy, um, looks like a robin's egg blue. It's a heavy glass beads. I'm not sure the age on it, maybe 50s, but I thought it was really nice and I will wear that. I actually have a dress in mind for that. Then I picked up a couple other jade pieces here. Um, I've been seeing a lot of jade lately. This one I thought was a really pretty necklace. I paid a dollar seventy, no, two seventy nine, two seventy nine for each piece of jewelry. But I thought that necklace was so pretty. I love the shape of it. And I found a ring. The ring is stamped. The the necklaces are not marked, but the ring uh, is stamped uh, eighteen karat gold plate. So, but I thought they looked pretty. They'll match together. Then I found this. I'm not really even sure what it is. I just thought the gold was really pretty. It's real dainty has a leaf on it. If you know what this would be used for, just let me know. It's like a little clip on the back. I'm not sure. First I thought bookmark and I thought, mm, I don't know, it's kind of thick for that. So if anybody knows, just let me know on that one. And then the last thing I picked up was some half aprons. I love half aprons and I actually have an idea that I'm gonna do. I have some um, antique glass doorknobs and I wanna use those here in the kitchen and hang um, all my half aprons on them. But this one has a little rickrack around the edges, a little pocket here, and a little V. I think I paid $1.29 for each one of these half aprons. So that's that one. And then here's this one. This one's a very sheer, very sheer fabric. It has flowers in it. It's like a blue, and then it has yellow and blue, and some pink in it. Oh, here's the here's one of the tags on here. Yep, I paid $1.29 $1 for those. There's that one, and I got one more. This one wasn't in as good shape, but I thought it was cute. I think that maybe somebody put this in the washing machine, and it maybe shrunk. It didn't wash well. I see it's really wrinkly. I'll have to try to figure it out and press it myself, but it looks like it was kind of... Um, I don't know, maybe shrunk. The back actually has like a pink tone in the white. So I'm thinking that maybe somebody washed this and didn't wash it properly and it shrunk a little bit, but I'm gonna steam it, um, hand wash it myself and just see if I can't get it to um, look a little bit better. This one actually, the other two did not have a maker. I believe they're homemade, but this one says oh, this Carmen Lee on it. So I thought that was neat, and I'll look up the maker in that. So that's everything I found. Um, I hope you enjoy seeing everything. Um, like, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, comment down below which one is your favorite. You know, the cocktail shaker is definitely my favorite. Um, and then subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you so much, and until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.